Good morning, fifth graders. Today is day five of our opinion writing, and today we're going to be talking about our body paragraph number two. Now, body paragraph number two is going to look much like our first body paragraph. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with a topic sentence that states our reason. So remember, I put it in red so that you can refer back to your notes. And remember that these red bullets, remember boxes and bullets, these red boxes will refer to what you're going to state here. Then you're going to have fact explanation, fact explanation, fact explanation, then you'll have a concluding sentence. Now, this is what's interesting. In our first body paragraph, I asked you guys to pick out your strongest argument. On your second body paragraph, we're actually gonna go ahead and do our weakest argument. So now if you're looking at an essay, you have your introduction, you have your first, the strongest. People are gonna be reading and they're gonna um, want to see your strongest argument. And then we're gonna taper off to maybe our weakest argument. And then at the end, we're gonna end with our, again, our second strongest argument so that you leave the reader something to think about. Okay, so this is one of my weakest ones. Um, uh, I want you also to try something new today. I want you to try to, to try to briefly, briefly means just really quickly, mention the other side, but then prove it wrong. Okay, so what does that mean? Attached in Google Classroom, I have included this piece of paper. These are words and phrases that can argue against the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna read the paragraph that I wrote and I'm gonna point out where I've done this and I want you to try to do it at least once in your second paragraph. Okay, here we go. So another reason chocolate milk should be banned is that even though other drinks are offered at schools, kids still continue to make poor choices and are choosing chocolate milk more than any other drink. In fact, 70% of all milk consumed at schools is chocolate milk. This proves that when given the option, kids are continuing to choose sweet, fatty, sugary chocolate milk over healthier options. I realize that some may believe that we should teach school-aged kids to make good choices, but why not help them out, especially when we're dealing with kids that are five, six, and seven years old? Choosing to drink chocolate milk is a poor choice because it's not only gives us too much sugar, but it also fills us up and prevents us from eating other foods with nutrients and vitamins that, that we need. I can't help but like correct my own problem. Okay, so now going back and looking at the, the paragraph that I wrote, I asked you guys today to try something new. You're gonna go ahead and do your topic sentence. You're gonna do fact, explanation, fact, explanation, fact, explanation, concluding sentence. But then I want you to put in a sentence in there that briefly mentions the other side. And I don't know if you heard it, but mine's right here. So I'm gonna, I'm kind of touching on, I realize that some people believe that we should just teach kids good, um, good eating habits. But then I'm gonna come back with, but that's not always possible, especially when we're dealing with children who are five, six, and seven years old. It doesn't matter um, what you're gonna offer a five, six, and seven-year-old. If I offered them a piece of candy versus eating a carrot, I mean, 90% of my five, six, and seven-year-olds are gonna choose that piece of candy. So I'm just saying, let's take that completely away and not even offer the sugary drink to them and just offer water. If we just offer water, they'll choose the water. Okay, so a quick recap. Paragraph number two, same exact way that we did paragraph number one. Make sure it's your weakest argument and then you're gonna try something new. Use these phrases in this box here and in this box to introduce the other side briefly and then tell why you think that is wrong, okay? Good luck to you guys today with your second body paragraph.